Who realize this marks the first all-division game in the history of Strip Trash Little League. So uh, uh, I hope you all have fun. And it uh, looks like we've got a pretty talented group of kids, and we should have a great game. So, all right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, introduce the, uh, the managers first. Okay, let's go ahead and introduce the American League since they're, uh, they're the visitors for this uh, game today. And the manager, Chris Meyer, why don't you come on up to the batter's box here on the National League side. Chris Meyer, come on out to the batter's box. Let's start with the uh, batting leadoff, Brian Friedberg. Come up to the batter's box. Brian Friedberg, I guess, is from the Yankees, okay? And batting, no, batting first for the National League, Brennan Devley, number 21, from the regular season Giants. Come on, guys. All right, come on out here. Okay, switch sides, guys. Go to the ends of the line. All right, you go over there. Over here. Come on, right. Okay, now, walk this way. Keep going. Try not to run into each other. All right. Now batting number two for the National League. Patrick McLaughlin, number 32 from the Marlins. Batting number two for the National League team, Ryan Isaacson, number 29 from the Bulls. from the D-backs, Eddie Bilderbill. All right. For the American League, number 33, batting third, Scotty Earl. All right, guys. All right. They got it down pat now. All right. Batting cleanup for the National League, number 33 from the Marlins, Nick Gallardo. From the White Sox, Diego Pacheco McAvoy. All right, way to go, guys. Okay, batting number five for the National League team, P.D. Stock, number 23, from the Dodgers. Batting number five for the American League, number 30, Tyler Sharp from the Yankees. All right, way to go, guys. Okay, batting sixth for the National League, number 25 from the Giants, Ronnie Keel. Okay, batting sixth for the American League. Number 21, from the Blue Jays, Mo Meyer. Alrighty. At number 7, for the National League, number 24, from the regular season Giants, Nolan Garcia. And for the American League, at 7, Number 24, from the A's, C.J. Sealinger. Okay, bad at number 8, for the National League, number 30, from the regular season pod race, Drew Schmidt. Come on out, Drew. Okay, bad at number 8, for the American League, number 23, from the Angels, Lance Wilmer. Okay, batting number nine for the National League. Number 29 from the Rockies, Mitchell Denny. Batting number nine for the American League team. Number 28 from the A's, Evan Heisterkamp. That, that explains that look he was giving me. 
Okay, batting number in ten, the 10 spot for the National League, number 31, from the Padres, Reed Moberg. Batting number in the 10 spot for the American League, number 25, Sean Seda from the A's. And from the National League, batting in the 11th spot, number 26, from the D-backs, DJ Ray. Okay, in the 11th spot for the American League, number 22, from the Angels, Sean Bosser. For the National League, from the Dodgers, number 22, Brett Molina. Okay, number 12 spot for the American League, number 32, from the Red Sox, who's our next Red Sox? Jack Vecchio. In the number 13 spot, batting cleanup for the entire team, number 28, from the Rockies, Clayton Jungle. And for the American League side, batting cleanup for this team, number 26, from the White Sox, Kevin Watson. Somebody's a leader in the, uh, the Pledge of Allegiance.
Good morning and welcome out here to the Scripps Ranch first ever all division all star game. My name is Logan Stover, working for GLP Productions, and we are proud to bring you this morning's game. In the outfield, as you see now, the home National League team, and we'll go across their fielding position so you know exactly who's in the field right now. In the first inning, we're going to go from first to third, then right to left. Manning the first base in the first inning will be the first baseman, number 23, Brennan Deffley of the National League. At second base is going to be number 31, Reed Norberg. At third base is going to be Eddie Vildeville. And over at shortstop, completing the infield is going to be Drew Schmidt. Out on the outfield in right field is going to be a man in the first inning by DJ Ray. Right center next to Ray will be Brett Molina. And in left center, patrolling that area will be Patrick McLaughlin. And rounding out the outfield for the National League is left fielder Clayton Gerlow. And going to be pitching and manning the pitching machine for the National League in the first inning. It's going to be number 29, Mitchell Denny. And stepping up to lead it off for the American League, it's number 31, Brian Frydenberg. First pitch is fouled back by Brian. Pitch is swung on and lined in the left field. That'll drop in for a base hit in front of Gerlo. He'll fire it in the second. Good job by Frydenberg to get on as the leadoff runner, and the American League has a runner on first with no outs. Ryan Isaacson now up at the plate. First pitch swinging, ground ball over towards the pitcher. Throw is to first, nice play on the National League by pitcher Drew Schmidt to fire over. Moving over to first base. And now over at second is Frydenberg as one out for the American League. Next batter for the American League is Scott Earl, number 33. He steps in the plate, looks at the first pitch, swung on and fouled back for the second pitch. Pretty quick tempo that the coach is having the kids hit at. Earl swings and pops that one up. That's going to drop just foul over there on the right side. Good effort by Mitchell Denny, the pitcher, to try to get up and get that foul ball. And the pitch is swung on and fouled back, so staying alive is Scott Earl. Not a real big guy. And the pitch is swung on. Over towards the shortstop. Ball's going to drop in in the left field. And he's on his horse, going for home is number 31, and safe for the American League is Frydenberg. So good base running by him. Brian Frydenberg of the Yankees scores the first run of the game for the Angels as they go up 1-0 on the single by Scotty Earl. That ball just dropped right in front of Nolan Garcia playing shortstop for the National League. So on first is Scotty Earl with a one nothing lead for his American League team. Oh, 
Next up for the American League is number 27, Diego Pacheco McEvoy. As he swings at his second pitch, that's popped up foul in front of the National League dugout. McEvoy, who plays for the White Sox during the regular season. And hits a hard liner that's going to get past the third baseman in the left. Gerlo fires it back into the infield. So holding up at second is Scott Earl, but nice hitting by McEvoy on that one. So he lines a single into left field. And now the American League is looking pretty good with runners on first and second and only one out. And the first pitch by Tyler Sharp is lined into right field. Third base coach is rounding him around, safe at second, and scoring on the play, sliding in safe. It's number 33. That was Jack Vecchio who slid on in that one. So the Angels now lead it two to nothing. Matthew Meyer lines it over to third. Good play by the National League, third baseman number 27. That's Eddie Vildeville. Good job grabbing the force out for the National League, holding the runners. Two outs now on the American League. They still lead it two to nothing, with runners on first and second. That's going to bring up regular season A's hitter, number 24, C.J. Selinger. First pitch is swung on and missed by C.J. Second pitch to C.J. Fouls it back to stay alive. 0-2 oh the count on C.J. C.J. stands in at the plate, waits for his pitch, grounds it over to number 27. And the second force out of the inning by him. As the American League gets two runs in the top of the first, we'll come back in the bottom of the first for the National League. We are back for the bottom of the first inning as the American League leads at 2-0. Oh, oh, so leading off for the National League, it's number 23, Brennan Deathly. He takes the first pitch and lines it in the left field for a base hit. So good job by Deathly. Replicating exactly what the American League team did in their first inning and getting their leadoff runner on. And definitely already in his position, ready to go. He looks like a runner. Hopefully his teammate Patrick McLaughlin, number 32, who's stepping into the plate, can drive him in. First two pitch to McLaughlin is taken up high. Coaches are using a pitching machine to pitch to the players. McLaughlin watches the second pitch go past him. Third pitch in a row to go past McLaughlin as he's looking to swing with a runner on first. And he lines that one into center field. That's going to bounce over to the center fielder. Ball gets thrown in. McLaughlin holds up at first. Good job by Brennan. Definitely to be running on that. He moves over to third. Now the National League is looking at runners on first and third with no outs. Good try by the center fielder, number 26, Kevin Waxick of the American League. Ball just bounced over his glove. Eddie Vildeville steps into third baseman last inning. Number 27 looks to be a hitter with runners on first and third. First pitch swinging. 
It's knocked back foul. Pitch is lined straight at the shortstop. Great catch by the shortstop of the American League. That catch was made by number 33, Jack Vecchio. Nice catch by Jack on that to hold the runners at third. So Nick Gallardo will step up with runners on first and third with one out. Watches the first pitch go down low. 1-0 count. Nick takes the pitch and pops it just foul over the side of his family and friends. Next pitch is lined over back. Throws over to second. Good job by the shortstop. Try to get the double play. Will not get it, but the run scores. So the National League does their best to try to catch up to that 2 nothing lead, and now they make it 2-1. to one. And now they're looking at two outs. Great play again by the shortstop. 33 Vecchio. Caught the ball last time on the fly. Nice job on that one. Flip it over second for the second out. Brings up 23 Petey Stab. And he takes that one. Drops it right past the pitcher. Play over to second's not in time as the ball goes over into right field. McAvoy, a third baseman, tried to do his best on that one. Didn't look like he could make the play at first. Still two outs for the National League after the single. That ball lined over the shortstop, bobbles it. Play over at second is in time. And they hold on to the American League that lead as at the end of one, American League leads it two to one. We are back here in the top of the second inning. Leading off for the American League in first pitch swinging. It's Lance Wilmer. Regular season plays with the Angels. Swings and misses at the second offering from the pitching machine. The ricochet off the catcher's mask. That ball is lined back up the middle. So good hitting by Lance Wilmer of the Angels to line that ball back up into center field. And once again, for the second inning in a row, the American League has their leadoff hitter on base. Coming up next should be from the Blue Jays, number 28, Evan Heisterkamp. Still no Evan in the batter's box. Now I see him. No outs, runner on first for the American League, top of the second inning. Heisterkamp swings and misses at his first offering. Second pitch on the way is aligned over to second. They could have a chance for two. And good job by the second baseman, DJ Ray. Flips it over to his teammate, Eddie Vildeville, and smart play to hold that runner on first base. Sean, 
It's one out now for the American League. Sean Seda, left-handed hitter, comes up. First pitch is swung on and missed by Seda. That ball bounces off the protective caging behind him. Getting a little bit warmer here on beautiful morning. Saturday, June 17th, 2006. My name is Logan Stover for GLP Productions. And that ball by Seda is lined past the first baseman. That ball will bounce off and ricochet around. Seda is going to go in safely with a double. Good hitting by Seda on that one as Evan Heisterkamp gets over to third base. And now with one out, the American League is looking at runners on second and third. That ball just bounced off of the right fielder of the National League. Mitchell Denny was out there, bounced off him, and that ball allowed, allowed Heisterkamp and Seda to move over extra bases. Sean Bossert steps in now for the American League. One out. Grounds that ball over the shortstop. Throw over to first is going to get past the first baseman. All runners will advance. Throw down to second. Not in time. So good hitting by number 22, Sean Bossert. So he adds another run to the American League. And now they lead it. Three to one over the National League. Seda moves over to third base as Heisterkamp scores. 32 Jack Vecchio steps up. His first pitch is swung on and missed by Jack. That ball ground over to the shortstop once again. That ball thrown pass hits off the first base coach. But number 25, Sean Seda, will score for the American League. Sure, we'll call that a single. So Jack Vecchio with the single scores another run. And the American League now leads at 4-1. to one. As Kevin Wachzek of the regular season White Sox steps up. Looks like the umpiring crew has a decision to make on that one as they contemplate. Umpires could be talking about that last play where the ball hit off the first base coach. Not too sure on how they're going to rule it in the Little League game, but in the major leagues, that ball, the runner would be awarded second base. So no change made by the umpiring crew. Kevin walks it. Now a little congregation by the managers to talk about something. After dealing with the umpire. Definitely this is going to, they're talking about that last play. Where the throw by number 27 of the National League, Eddie Vildebill, got a little past the first baseman. It's Patrick McLaughlin over there at first base, and it actually hit the first base coach. It's not really sure what their conversation was about. One out and walks sick. Watches the first pitch go by. Second pitch is swung on and dropped into left field. That's going to drop down next to the line. It's going to score another run by the American League. So walks it gets an RBI as the American League tacks on yet another run. They lead the National League five to one here in the top of the second inning. So Brian Friedenberg stacks up for his second at bat. He takes that ball, lines it over in the left field. That ball is caught by Gallardo. The nice play by number 33 in left field for the National League. Okay, that nice 
to the number two batter, from the Warriors season group today, is number 29, Ryan Isaacson. So Ryan Isaacson steps in for a second time and first pitch swinging lines it. That's going to drop in behind the shortstop to load the bases for the American League. Shortstop Eddie Vildeville couldn't get to that one in time. Nice try by him on that. Sure that's something he'll be practicing. Good range by the shortstop so far. And with two outs, National League will look to hold. The American League here with the bases loaded. First pitch is swung on, ground to the pitcher, throws back to home. First initial call is safe by the home plate umpire. Then he calls out, so good job for the National League as they get the out at home to end the threat. But they are down as they come up in the bottom of the second. So now we'll step in at the bottom of the second inning as the National League trails 5-1. to one. Leading off for the National League is going to be Nolan Garcia. He grounds that first pitch into left field for a base hit. So, so far, all leadoff hitters have gotten on in this game. Nolan Garcia starts the Nationals off right with a single into left. That's going to bring up 30, Drew Schmidt, who plays for the Padres in the regular season. Schmidt, the left-hander, steps in with his teammate Nolan on first base. Watches the first pitch go a little bit outside. Good swing by Drew on that one. Stay alive in the count. Good hack by Drew on that one to foul the ball back. Stay alive. Runner on first, no outs. Drew just keeps getting underneath that ball. If he gets a little bit more on top of it, he's going to crank that into right field. The pitch is lofted. That's going to drop over there in right center field. And we have a pickle going down. Throw over to third. Good tag on that one by the Angels as they get the lead runner. Good job by the Angels, number 27, Diego Pacheco McAvoy. And nice try by Nolan on that one as he rounded around past second. A little bit too far at that time, and the Angels were able to tag him out. So one out for the National League in the bottom of the second. Number 29, Mitchell Denny steps up. First pitch to Denny is swung on and lined in the right fielder. That's going to get past the center fielder's head and drop in. And the National League is looking at runners on first and second now. One out after the single by Mitchell Denny. So next up is Reed Nordberg, number 31. Reed will be playing right center next inning. He steps up with one out, and runners on first and second. Lines that over to the third baseman. Nice job by Diego Pacheco McAvoy. He thought there were, there were three outs, but no, buddy, there's only two. So once again, the American League gets the lead runner. So two outs now on the bottom of the second, 26. DJ Ray is stepping up to the plate for the National League. DJ plays for the regular season Diamondbacks. And he takes the first pitch, drops it into right field. Rounding and going for home is going to be number 29. That's Mitchell Denny. So that'll be dropped in there in right field for a single, and that'll score a run for the National League.
So now the score is five to two for the National League with two outs, runners on first and second. Good job by DJ Ray on that last single. That'll bring up his teammate number 22, Brett Molina. Brett Molina, the right-hander, stands in. Fouls that ball, goes no more than a couple of feet. And they're gonna call that foul. Looked like at first it was gonna be a fair ball. I think the person most confused on that play was Brett, so second chance for him on this play. Stands in, looking to make a big swing. And he does, lines that one past the shortstop. That'll get past the outfielder too. National League will send their runner, that's 31. Reed Nordberg, and good job by base running by the National League as they cut the lead now five to three. On the single by Brett Molina. Next up is Gerlo, Clayton Gerlo, number 28. Clayton stepping up with two outs, runners on first and second, his team down. Five to three. Left-hander stands in. Good swing by Clayton on that one. He's just a little bit behind as he fouls that one off the side fencing. Clayton does his best impression of a mime and does the exact same thing. So far, Clayton looks like he's trying to get some practice hitting the fence. I'm sure it's just his superior batting skill that Clayton's batting skill is so superior that he's trying to hit that little square a bunch of times, and then he said he's going to get a hit. Good cut by Clayton on that one to stay alive. They've had some good coaching, these All-Stars. Got Mike Ishihara. That ball is dropped into right field. That one will drop in for a single. So as said, good smack by Clayton as he drops that one into left field. That will load the bases for the National League. Two outs for the National League. Critical moment in this game, second inning. And So Brennan definitely steps up the leadoff hitter and he lines that one over towards us. That one will drop fair as it hits off the left fielder. He'll have to compete with a dog for that one for the ball. He'll throw it back in. It's a good job by Isaacson, who was out here in left field, to actually throw that one in and get it in. But So the score is tied after 2-5-5 five, five as we head to the top of the third. back here in the top of the third inning as Diego Pacheco McAvoy steps in for the American League. Top of the third inning as McAvoy fouls his first pitch back. Second pitch. Good play by number 32. Nice catch by Patrick there of the National League. Great job of calling the ball. We heard him way out here. So that's 32, Patrick McLaughlin. So one out for the American League as Tyler Sharp steps in.
Tyler lines that one into right field for a base hit. So nice hitting by Tyler here in the top of the third inning to get a runner on base for his American League as he bloops a single over to right field. Good job by Nicholas Gallardo there, the second baseman, to try to dive over to his left to try to get that ball. Shown some good range. Hopefully, pursues to play that middle infield. He looks pretty good, along with his teammate Patrick over there at shortstop. That ball's line past the pitcher. Good job by third baseman. Good job by the third baseman, number 29, Mitchell Denny of the National League, to gun down the runner at second. So Tyler Sharp gets gunned down at second. CJ Selinger steps up to the plate for the American League. Two outs and a runner on first. Great play so far by this National League middle infield as that ball is going to be lined for a base hit into center field. And actually, the American League is going to send their runner over to third base. And the ball gets past number 29. Nice try by Mitchell Denny as the throw came in from center field as the American League was sending their runner number 21. That's Matthew Meyer sending Matthew Meyer over to third base. So Lance Wilmer steps up to the plate now for the American League. Runners on first and third, two outs for the American League. First pitch is ground back over to first. Throw over to second base is not in time by Mitchell. Mitchell getting all the plays. That's going to allow the American League to score. Good try by Denny on third base to stop that ball. Tried to fire it over to second, just barely not in time, but a run scores for the American League. So they take the lead now six to five here in the top of the third. First pitch is swung, line back off the pitcher's glove. Throw over to first is off his glove. So nice try by Brett over there on that one to get a hold of that ball. Great effort by him. So next up is Sean Seda. Sean Seda plays for the A's, number 25 regular season. His first pitch is fouled back for Seda as he looks at the bases loaded for the American League. Two outs, top of the third inning. His team leads at 6-5. Pitch to Seda is on the way. That's a ground ball over to the first baseman. And an easy play for first baseman. By the first baseman for the National League. Where well, they come up looking to trail six to five. So after making some great plays out at shortstop last inning, Patrick McLaughlin steps in to lead it off for the National League. They are trailing here in the bottom of the third. As McLaughlin watched the first pitch go by. Big right-handed number 32 steps in with a big hack on that one. McLaughlin plays for the Marlins during the regular season as he drills that ball into center field. That's going to bounce off the wall. McLaughlin's going to go in, sliding in with the throw going past into second. So Patrick with a leadoff double for the National League. That's definitely the furthest ball we've seen hit today. So that ball cleared center field. 
Dropped in right in front of that fence. So Eddie Vildebill comes up to bat now. Eddie was playing catcher last inning. He looks at his teammate Patrick on second base, looking to drive him in with a runner in scoring position. The National League down by one, looking to get that runner in. Vildebill drives that. That's going to drop in for a single into center field. McLaughlin will go over to third base easily. It's good hitting by Vildebill on that to drop the single into center field. And now the National League is looking good with the runners on first and third, no outs. And their number four hitter, number 33, Nick Gallardo, stepping up. This is exactly where the National League would like to be down by one. The runners on first and third, and no outs. First pitch goes to the backstop on Gallardo. Gallardo lines that ball over to third base. Runner is going home, and he will score to tie it up, is Patrick McLaughlin. And just as quickly as it was opened back up, the National League ties it back up at six with a single by Nick Gallardo. So no outs. Good job by the National League to tie it. Runners on first and second. And now number 23, Petey Stab will step in. Played right field last inning. And Peter looks to get his team going ahead now with a runner on second base and a runner on first, no outs. Gets a little bit of a piece of that one as we hear the bat make a noise. Good job on staying in there, making contact by Staub. Oh, and two the count now on Staub. Gets a piece of that one as he stays alive. Oh, and two fouls it off over his teammates at the dugout. Six six a score. American League National League tied up. Runners on first and second, no outs. And that ball is ground in for a base hit into left field. Holding up will be the lead runner number 27, Eddie Vildebilt. So the Marlins looking great so far here in the bottom of the third as they load the bases with no outs. And that tie score in jeopardy with the way the National League hitting right now. So Robbie Keel comes in. Robbie Keel, number 25, played left field at the top of the inning. And he looks to give his National League team the lead for the first time in the game. With the bases loaded. Robbie will be pitching at the top of the next inning. Robbie pops that one up to the shortstop. Runners get back. Good catch by Scott Earl. Good job by Scott Earl to catch that one. At shortstop. So that'll be the first out of the inning. First out here in the bottom of the third for the National League. Still bases loaded. That ball's ground once again past Earl at short. And they're going to send number 33 home. And he is out, called out at home. Great play by the American League to get that throw in there. The National League does get one run to go ahead. So a great defensive play 
by the American League holds the National League to only one run. The National League does get one run to go ahead. Drew Schmidt steps up for his second time in the game with runners on first and second for the National League. He grounds that ball over to second. Good play by the American League to force it over at second, and they will end it. So the threat is held up a little bit. Coming up will be the American League in the top of the fourth inning. And we get ready for the top of the fourth. Good defensive play by the American League. Looks to hold up with good batting here. As Sean Bossert steps up to the plate for the American League. Sean playing for the Angels during the year. He flies that ball. It will drop in the infield. And that'll drop in for a base hit behind the pitcher. That got just in front of Brennan and over there at second base. Good effort by him and the shortstop number 21 to go after those and get them. That ball is ground right back to the pitcher. The throw is going to be over to second. Is in time to get the force out. So good grab by Robbie on that one as he playing the pitcher position, throws it back over to second to get the lead runner and the first out of the inning. So next up is 26, Kevin Waxick. During the year, he plays for the White Sox. And watching all the way on the first, first pitch was Waxick. Swinging on the second, that's going to be tipped by the, by the pitcher. Good job by the pitcher. Robbie Keel once again to knock that ball down. That allowed number 21 to come over and make the play over to second. Ran it over himself. That was Brennan Deffley over there at shortstop, making the play all by himself. It's top of the lineup now for the American League. That ball's ground over to third. Throws over to second, just gets past the glove. Staub made his best attempt on that one to try to grab the throw from third base. It's a good try by the National League. They have two outs here in the top of the fourth inning. Ryan Isaacson comes to take his hacks. The big number 29 stepping in for the third time. Grounds that one between the legs of Deffley. Throw is not in time to catch 26, Kevin, as Kevin scores. So Kevin will tie it up for the American League now. at 7 all. 7-7 seven, seven now, two out. American League with runners on first and third. And Scott Earl. Steps up. Some defensive changes being made by the coaches over there of the National League. It's going to be a slow ground ball over to second. Going to be a quick play, and he is out. Good job by the second baseman of the National Leaguers to retire the last out of the inning, so they keep it tied. After that, it is 7-7 as we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. The 
bottom of the fourth inning gets started with Mitchell Denny leading it off for his National League squad. They are tied 7-7. Mitchell grounds that pitch over to the pitcher. It's going to be a hard throw over to first, not in time. Ball gets past the first baseman as Mitchell will run over to second base. Slides in for a leadoff double for the National League. That's exactly what they need here in the bottom of the fourth. With the score tied 7-7, now the National League has that lead run in sight. Thirty one Reed Norberg is now going to try to take his hacks against the pitching machine. Trying to score Mitchell from second base to get the lead here for the first time. Good hack by Reed on that one. Got out of the box quick. Reed gets ready for a second pitch from his coach. Swung on and misses, it heads back to the plate. Score is 7-7. Bottom of the fourth inning, American League, National League tied up. The All-Division Little League All-Star game. That pitch is flied over and going to drop in. That drops in inside first base. So good hitting by Reed as he drops a bloop single over on the right side. Moving over is Mitchell over to third base. So the National League looking good again as they did last inning. Runners on first and third with no outs. And now the DJ Ray will step up. Looking to give his team the lead with a runner on third. First pitch swing, and he's going to lift that into left field. Good effort by the shortstop of the American League as that ball drops into right field, and a run will score. A run will score for the National League. They now make it 8-7. to seven. Great effort by Scott Earl. Scott Earl playing over at shortstop. So Brett Molina now going to try to do his best to add to this lead that the National League now has of 8-7 to seven with runners on first and second. that to the third baseman of the American League. Good play by Pacheco McAvoy, number 27 of the American League, to grab that out of the air. He'll put the tag on the runner for... So there's one out now. And Clayton steps up to the plate. Clayton Gerlo comes in. Left-hander looking to get something going. Bottom of the fourth inning looking to add to that lead. Good swing by Clayton. It's a little bit underneath the ball and fouls it back.
Clayton grounds that back over to McAvoy, the third baseman. He will step on third base for a second straight recorded out. Two outs now here in the bottom of the fourth. National League's going to send up Brennan Deffley, their leadoff hitter at the top of their lineup. Two outs, runners on first and second for the National League. Deffley takes the first pitch. We'll drop that into left center field. Going home for the National League. And good running by the National League. As Brett Molina scores on the play to add to this lead for the National League. They now lead at 9 to 7. Patrick McLaughlin, number 32, comes in to take his swings. Patrick made some great defensive plays at shortstop earlier. Watch as the first two pitches go by. Patrick, just by looking at him, you can tell that he has a future in baseball. With a good rip on that, good swing. Patrick definitely looks like he's got everything going for him in the future. He looks like he knows the fundamentals of the game at an early age. And taking some big swings here for his National League team with a runner on third. I can tell he wants to get him in. Patrick grounds that one to the shortstop. That'll bounce off. Good job by Scott Earl to try to drop that one down. But another run scores for the National League. They open it up. 10 to 7. With the great hitting by Patrick McLaughlin. It's so number 27, Eddie Vildebill. Steps up for his at bat. Be patrolling left center field next time up. And he takes that first pitch and drives into left field. Great catch by number 25 of the American League. Sean Seda of the A's with a great diving catch reminiscent of the old days of Reggie Jackson. But his team comes up next in the top of the fifth. So the third baseman, Diego, Chaco McAvoy, who's been making great defensive plays all day for the American League, recorded so far six assists already in this game, and it's only the top of the fifth. So Pacheco McAvoy looking to not only stand out today with his glove, but with his bat. This National League gets ready for their catcher to come out. Number 27 gets ready. Looks in at the pitch. And good hitting by Diego as he drops that ball into center field. Good job by him to get a leadoff single for the American League. And that'll bring up number 30, Tyler Sharp. Tyler Sharp, who plays with the Yankees during the year. That ball ground over to second. Chaco McAvoy is out on the fielder's choice at second. The double play attempt just missed Tyler Sharp at first, so he will be safe. One out here in the top of the fifth. Runner on first. So Mo Meyer grounds the ball back to second again. They're going to try the double play attempt or not. And not really sure what the call is over there by the umpire. 
umpire wasn't sure if he called him safe or he called him out. So the final ruling is he is out. So as just as, as Tyler Sharp had done before, Mo Meyer grounds into a fielder's choice. So now the American League is looking at two outs with the runner on first. C.J. Selinger of the A's steps in. Great grab by his teammate Sean Seda last inning of the A's this regular season in left field making the grab. And that ball is ground over to third. Force play is at second. So all three outs recorded at second. Good job by the National League. No runs for the American League. We head to the bottom of the fifth. National League leads it 10 to 7. As we get ready for the bottom of the fifth inning, I'm going to spotlight Seda over there. Seda of the American League made a great catch, number 25, last inning, where he actually dove over to his right. He's patrolling left field again. Made a catch about 15 feet of where he is now. He's looking over at his nose. We're talking about him. But we will start off the inning as the National League. National League sends up Nick Gallardo. His leadoff hitter, number 33, stands in. Watch the first pitch go by. Nick takes the pitch and lines it to left field. This ball is going to get past him in left field. He's going in for two, and he will be in safe with a double. Seda couldn't get to that one. And so, good job by Nick Gallardo with a leadoff double for the National League. So now Peter Staub stands in, PD as listed on the roster sheet. PD's got a good situation looking here. Runner in scoring position, no outs for his National League squad. They lead it 10 to 7 here in the bottom of the fifth. And PD grounds that ball. Pitcher knocks it down, throw to first. Will get off the glove. Runner will advance over to third. So Nick Gallardo moves over to third base as Petey Staub gets, gets on first by the grace of the first baseman's glove. So no outs. Runners on first and third for the National League. As number 25, Robbie Keel steps in. He grounds the ball to shortstop, and that'll get past him. As a run will score for the National League, Gallardo comes in to score to open up that lead 11-7. So good hitting by Robbie Keel to drill that single into left field. Runners now first and second. No outs. And the National League leads it 11-7. So with runners on first and second, Nolan Garcia comes in, number 24. Good eye watches the first pitch down low for a ball. Outfield playing him to pull. Grounds the ball over the third baseman, over to third for the force out. Tags him just in case. So good job by the third baseman, number 22, Sean Bossard of the Angels, to get the force out. as Nolan grounds out for the first out in the inning of the National League. Drew Schmidt looking to take his hacks in a great situation. National League doing a great job of getting the hitters in, in good hitting situations. He lines that one over to second base. Play is over at first. They will get the force out at first, but the runners will move over to second and third. So Robbie Keel stands on third with his teammate Nolan Garcia right behind him on second. 
So 24 and 25 on base. With 29, Mitchell Denny coming up to hit. And great base running by the National League and timely hitting has turned into great situations for their hitters as yet another hitter comes up with two runners in scoring position. And Mitchell's going to do his best as he rips that one right up the middle, middle of the field. That one's going to go all the way back to the fence. That'll score two. And almost as the umpire didn't even know what the rules were on that one. Almost called. So the runner is safe, but he's down. That is Mitchell Denny. Mitchell with that great line drive back up the middle. Got all the way back to the fence. But Nolan Garcia and Robbie Keel score on the play. They open up the lead for the National League now to 13 to 7. So Mitchell's going to stay in the game. It's the American League talking it over and what they're going to do. American League jumped out to an early lead in this game. Jumped out in the first inning to a 2 to 1 lead. And added to it, making it 5 to 1. As the National League's done a great job of rallying back. With the score now in the bottom of the fifth, being 13 to 7 in favor of the National League. So Reed Nordberg is at bat for the National League with Mitchell on second base. And he singles that into left field. Good hitting by Reed to move over the runner and to get on first himself. Single by Reed Nordberg gets him on and moves Mitchell Denny over to third. Good play by Sean Seda to get in front of the ball in right field. Sorry, in left. So two outs here in the bottom of the fifth inning. National League still trying to rally and add on to that 13-7 lead. Ground ball over to third. We'll get past the third baseman. It's a fair ball. Umpires here calling really confusing game, calling one time one thing and one thing another, but but nonetheless, that will end the inning because of the scoring rule. So 14 to 7 is the score at the end of five. Coming up will be the American League in the top of the sixth. We are back for the top of the sixth, the last inning. American League leadoff hitter, Lance Wilmer, grounds the ball over to third base. Good throw by the third baseman, number 24. Nolan Garcia made the long range throw all the way over the pitching machine. I don't think I could have made that play. Somehow throws the ball over into somewhere he can't see and gets the first out of the inning. Great job by the National League to get the leadoff. Leadoff runner out for only the second time in this game. Second pitch is grounded over to short. Thrower to first is not in time. But good job by the first baseman, Nick Gallardo, to block that. And hold it only to a single. So that was Evan Heisterkamp, who's now on first. And bringing up the guy we talked about earlier, number 25, Sean Sato, when he had that nice grab. So Seda steps in with one out and a runner on first. His team trailing here in the top of the sixth inning. 14 to 7. So the American League looking to rally with seven runs here. And here in the top of the sixth, they'll need to score seven just to tie it up. With one out, the ball is ground for a base hit into center field. Ball's thrown in very quickly by the outfielder. Good job out there. Good throw by DJ Ray out in right field. Keep that ball down and bring it in. 
Well, with one out, the American League is looking at runners on first and second as Seda lines that single over to right. So Sean Bossert steps in with runners on first and second and one out here in the top of the sixth inning. Last chance for the American League. Score seven runs. Catch up to that big 14 runs that the National League's put up over five innings so far. George Gallardo over there coaching the Nationals defense on how to play this situation with runners on first and second. Good job of coaching today by the Nationals with that pitch being popped up. That will drop fair in front of the catcher. And the catcher, Robbie Keel, grabs it as the ball bounces in front of him for a pop fly. So a little looper of a play. So Sean Bossert gets a little pop fly single. Bases are loaded now, one out. And Jack Vecchio stepping up with a big swing and a miss. That ball is ground over to second, past the second baseman. Coming in as one run. And now two will score as Seda comes in. And the American League cuts the lead 14 to nine. On the single by Jack Vecchio. And that'll bring up number 26, Kevin Woksik of the normal regular season White Sox representing the White Sox on this all-star team. He's got a situation one out, runners on first and second. Big swing by him. Grounds that over to third, good job. And the force out is made at third. Good heads up by Nolan Garcia play over there at third base to knock down the ball and get that's a big second out and now the American League all-stars are only down to their last out and they trail 14 to 9 so the National League looking to wrap this one up with great defense all around and great hitting the great hitting of getting the runners in scoring position and that was done by some great coaching as that ball is lying back. Back off second base. There's going to be a play at home. The ball is thrown. That's going to get past him. Good attempt by, by the catcher of the National League, Robbie Keel, to try to catch that ball. It's another run scores for the American League. On the single by... Brian Frydenberg. Brian Frydenberg, the leadoff hitter for the American League. He stands on first with two outs. His team down by four. That ball is flied up over towards second, and the play is made for the out. And that's the end of the game as the National League All Stars take this game over the American League All Stars. Your final score is the National League 14, American League 10. My name has been Logan Stover for GLP Productions, and we are proud to bring you today's game. We will bring you some post-game interviews from the winning National League team coming up right after this.
he can't really go around. You just uh, get lucky to be the manager. Anyway, let me introduce my uh, coaches. They did a great job and helped out a lot during the game and the practices. George Gallardo over here. Chuck Norberg. Got a compliment. And Bob Bilderville. So before I get uh, starting the introduction to the National League, I just wanted to thank, I think everybody should thank George Gallardo for organizing all these games and also for our this is the first time I've been an all-star contest and I think it was a smashing hit. Yes, but um, I think this is a good attestment that this is a great game. We should keep it going. All right, for the National League squad, first up is Brennan Deathly. All right. Next up is Drew Schmidt. Mullen Garcia. Mitchell Day. DJ Ray. Eddie Bilderdale. Patrick McLaughlin. Reed Norberg. So I'm here with the National League All-Stars. You guys just won the game. I'm here with Nick, Brennan, and Peter. Guys, what was your favorite part of the game? Well, I'll just go down the line. Peter, what was your favorite part? Probably playing second base. Playing second base? You made some pretty good plays over there. Brennan, what about you? This close to hitting a home run. Yeah? And what about you, Nick? Left field. And I caught the ball. You guys played some pretty good. You guys played some pretty good defense today's game. Something that I normally see from some older guys. Where did you guys learn to play all your great defense from? Um, my last 
my team that I used to be on. What team was that? The Dodgers. Cool. And what about you, Ryan? Uh, my old team. And that was? Giants. And Nick? My old, my old team. So was it your coaches that taught you guys how to play like this? Yeah. Cool. All right, guys. Well, thanks for stopping by, and uh, hopefully good luck next year. Okay. Thanks, guys. And I'm here with some of the players from the American League team, and they actually want to hold the microphone, so I'll let them go. Guys, what was your favorite part of the game? Uh, my favorite part was um, um, getting a hit and scoring a run. And, and what about him? My favorite part was probably playing catcher. My favorite part was playing shortstop. My, f my favorite part was hitting. And quick, tell me who you guys are. I'm Ryan. What's your last name? Isaacson. I'm Evan Heisekamp from the Blue Jays. No, I'm Scotty Earl from the Boston Red Sox, and I made it through the World Series. And Scott Earl one day is going to be a broadcaster and take away my job. Yes! But until that day, uh, guys, what was your favorite part? I mean, you, you told us your favorite part of today's game, but what was your favorite part of this season? That you, the one thing that you remember the entire season? Probably getting a home run and playing catcher. Well, probably, um, probably winning the comeback against the A's. My favorite part was when um, we beat the A's. So you guys were all on different teams, but are you friends now? Well, actually, no, still not. Still, still not friends. They were friends. Well, they were friends, not friends before the game. They were friends during the game, and I guess after they're enemies again. But good job to you guys today, and congratulations. We'll see you guys next year. And I play shortstop. <laughs> bye bye. All right. So I am talking to some of the National Leaguers who won today's All Star game, and tell me your names. Brett, Mitchell, Patrick, and Nolan. And guys, you guys did win today. What was your favorite part of the game? Um, uh, hitting the ball way out in the outfield, so I, so, and it was just amazing. And in a line drive into the outfield. Fielding. Hitting. I'm going to go with you on fielding. I like that. So you guys have got summer now coming up. This is your last game, right? So what are you guys going to go do? Uh, probably go to summer camps and outpost and uh, ha go to, on a vacation. I'm going to go to Hawaii, then go to Sook City. I'm going to go to Hawaii. Probably practice baseball or something. I don't know. I think that's the, coach that you're, or the answer your coach wants to hear from you. But good job, guys, today, and, and have fun this summer in Hawaii and all the places you guys go to and playing baseball. Good job today, guys. So I'm here with some more of the National League All-Stars who have won this game. And, guys, I'm first along, let's go on and tell you everybody your name. DJ, Drew, Reed, Robbie. And these guys did win today. And guys, we were asking, who's your favorite coach on the team? Uh, coach Bob. Coach Bob. Coach Chuck. Coach Mark. Nice, nice, guys. And so what stood out for you guys in this game? What was your favorite part in the entire game today? Um, having, I'm um, watching the base hit that won the game. Uh, watching the base hit that won the game. Um, when I caught the winning out, having fun. Nice answer. So you guys play against each other during the year, right? You play on different teams? Well, I know you you two are on the same team. But so you guys are against each other during the year. Do you guys become friends during today's game? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah? Yes. Well, that's good to hear that you guys made some friends. Well, thanks, guys, and we'll see you next year. Well, I'm here with some of the players from the American League All-Stars. And who am I talking with? My name is Caleb Seelinger. My name is Sean Santa. And, Sean, you had a pretty good catch today in the game, but I'm going to ask you what your guys' favorite plays were. I have a feeling that might have been your favorite play. But. Yeah. My favorite play was pitcher threw the ball to home, and it was a pretty fast catch. Then he caught it, but it was not. That was a pretty good play. I remember that from sitting back here. And your catch was pretty visible to us. That looked something like a major league catch by Vladimir Guerrero out there. What were you thinking when you saw that ball out there? Um, I was just thinking it could be Scotty's or mine because I didn't see Scotty running back, so I just got up there and do my job. Looks like you just threw your arm out there. But, man, if you go like that, you're going to be playing baseball a whole lot longer. So what are you, so what are you guys planning on doing for Father's Day? Um, I'm probably going to make something for my dad. Same here. Well, that's cool. You guys played a good game today, and thanks for coming out. Okay. Have a good season next year, guys.